It is good for us to have this day of remembrance, especially as we go into the Christmas season. I think it is really uh, timely that the day of remembrance is just before the day of celebration. Uh, data would show that the most number of accidents would happen around this time of the year. And I think we should really keep in mind, and I always tell the, uh, these two to our public transport drivers, that in our hands would be our life, would be the lives of our passengers. But it doesn't stop there. It, we in our hands as drivers would also be the future of the families that might be affected by whatever we do on the road. Uh, I guess it's also important for us to, to mention at this point what the government is doing. Ano pong ginagawa ng gobyerno ninyo para po mapangalagaan ng kaligtasan ng ating mga mamamayan? Nabanggit na po ni Chairman Delgra yung pong PUV modernization. No? Kasama po, at I am very thankful for our uh, fellow uh, motorcycle riders. If there is one, ang una pong mga nganib sa kalye, as what Chairman Delgra mentioned, yung naglalakad sa kalye. Ang pangalawa po dyan, yung sumasakay sa motorsiklo. Yan po, data would show na sila yung pinaka in harm's way. And therefore, the PUV modernization no, is very important among other things. Because definitely that, that takes care of our, of our passengers, of our commuters. Second, with the uh, Assistant Secretary Galvante, yung pong motor vehicle inspection system, which we will start this January 2018. That means all vehicles that will be on the road beginning January of 2018, a little over a month from now, will have to undergo testing, road worthiness testing. Ang ibig po sabihin niyan, it's not just smoke emission, but it will be 60 points on your vehicles that we will inspect. And if you do not pass the road worthiness inspection system test, then your vehicles will not be allowed to go on the road, especially public transport vehicles. There is also the Speed Limiter Act. And I would like to say today to our, to our friends here that we are launching today the implementing rules and regulations of the Speed Limiter Act. And next week, we will be signing a joint memorandum circular with the DILG and the Department of Public Works calling for a nationwide speed limit setting and enforcement. This joint memorandum circular enjoins the national government and all cities in the Philippines and municipalities as well to set and enforce speed limits in all Philippine roads. We are also strengthening our partnership with the PNP-HPG and the Department of Health to improve the collection of road crash data in the country through the data for road incident visualization, evaluation, and reporting system, or the driver system. It used to be that we don't have such a thing. The data was collected by the PNP and the LGUs manually from one precinct to the other. Therefore, a lot of human intervention, making it difficult to determine where exactly the road crashes happen and why they happen. Very true. Sometimes, um, I, uh, I remember even one time, no, a very good friend of mine, very rich friend, a tycoon. You know, he had all the money. His son was driving here, somewhere here in, in uh, Katipunan, evening. And uh, the son met a crash and that, that uh, resulted in his death. They had all the money. They, they owned BMW, the dealership, here in the Philippines. Imagine perfect car, supposed to be the, one of the safest cars in the world, and yet he met an accident, all because of a uh, one one uh, traffic cone that was out of place, which he negated to to see, and then he had to turn, and that caused his death. So it's very important for us to have this data system so that we would know as well the things that we will have to avoid and the things that we need to have intervention. Another thing that the government uh, is doing, and this was mentioned earlier, uh, we are launching the Philippine Road Safety Action Plan, which updates the old one, and this is, there is no better time to launch this initiative today. It is anchored on the principle that while people make mistakes on the road, 
this mistake should not lead to serious injuries or fatalities. We also accept that road safety is our shared responsibility and is not of the driver alone. Also, the Department is establishing a National Road Safety Unit which shall oversee the implementation of the National Plan for Road Safety and other Road Safety Initiatives. And we will have a National Focal Point for Road Safety to execute all functions related to planning, strategy, policy setting, project development, promotion, and communications, and impact assessment. So while the government is doing all the build, build, build program, we need not ne negate the very important reason why we're doing all this infrastructure, no, not just for the convenience of our commuters and passengers and all, the trans all, all those in the transport sector, but definitely the safety of each and every one. Lastly, I would like to thank the, this. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our private sector partners, you know, the World Health Organization, the Ateneo School of Government, the Bloomberg Initiative for Global Road Safety Legal Development Program Fellows, Imagine Law, um, the World Bank, Bosch, uh, 3M, the Automotive Association of the Philippines, the Global the Road Safety Partnership, Verifiles, Rappler, Ligtas Patrol, Philippine Red Cross, and Safe Kids Worldwide. Just goes to show that uh, with regards to road safety, we are all involved and we should involve ourselves. The World Day of Remembrance theme for this year, from global remembrance to global action across the decade. And truly the best way to remember the many lives lost on our roads is to make our roads safer with all these proactive actions. So maraming salamat po. We're working on a Sunday. We're working for a better tomorrow. We're working for a safer Metro Manila. Thank you. Thank you, Paul.